Hi, good afternoon, Hilltop families. I hope that everyone is having a wonderful start to their weekend, despite this gloomy, gloomy nor'easter weather that we're having. First off, just a very, very big thank you to our parents and alumni parents that helped pull off an amazing opening night experience last night for our art show. It was wonderful welcoming you know, current families, alumni families, members of the community, um, and celebrating um, all of our local artists. Um, and then a big thank you to uh, Chuck and Jean Stewart for providing all of the food last night. Love those pulled pork sliders. So it really was just an incredible team effort. So thank you so much. And keep in mind the art show is open all day today, Saturday from 10 to 5, and then tomorrow from 11 to 3. All sorts of different mediums, all sorts of different price points. So please come check out, support some of your local artists, and of course come and support Hilltop. So I'm not sure if you guys can tell where I am, but this is a new room that we have on campus this year. This is our lower school science lab. So let me just walk around with it real quick. All right, so we've got a little fish tank over there. Got some magnifying glasses right here. A little skeleton right there. Ew. We have a little bird's nest because we all know Janet Viglund is our resident naturalist on the faculty, so she spearheads our efforts in our outdoor classroom. So this is where we would keep our monarch butterflies. This is just a wonderful room for our kids where they can do some hands-on learning. And I love the fact that they can do this throughout the course of the year. Our outdoor classroom is wonderful, but of course, during the winter months, it can be difficult to get our kids out there. So if you come on campus, you know, please, please check out this beautiful space. Thursday afternoon, the faculty and staff, we were treated to a, an incredible in-service professional development by one of our current parents. Daniel Pasco is the associate provost at Drew University. And he walked us through some exercises um, about diversity, equity, and inclusion. One of the critical topics both in independent schools and, and I believe just in our country right now. So I think Daniel really helped us understand um, how to create an inclusive learning environment in, in our classrooms um, and, and how to take on some difficult conversations both with our students um, and, and with our peers and what we can do to ensure that, that our school is, is welcoming and inviting for all sorts of different students from different backgrounds, whether it be socioeconomic, racial, religious. So I thought that was, that was a wonderful learning opportunity for everyone on the faculty and staff this week. I hope that you guys enjoy View from the Hill this week. Um, lots of exciting things going on in our classrooms. Uh, you know, Chris Stefano has some wonderful things happening down in our preschool. Um, and our upper schoolers are getting prepared for um, interviews and taking the SSAT and for our international students, a uh, few of them are taking the TOEFL this weekend. So I hope that you guys enjoy some of the articles that we have. Have a wonderful weekend and stay tuned. So Halloween is this upcoming Wednesday. So our lower school parade and carnival will be from 1 to 2.15 and then there's going to be um, a really cool surprise at the end at 2.15 for all the kids. So stay tuned, all right? Have a great weekend, guys. Thank you.